There's no red light on the screen. Oh, there. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Aki kuti go kuta jenewari Neki chayile ne neki zarobali Kana ana ana mani Kumbuti tore wena sanulasi Hi guys! Welcome to Homecoming Events' YouTube channel. We decided to give people a look into what we actually do at Homecoming Events. We don't just sell tickets, the stuff that we do. And I know that a lot of people told us that what they'd like to see on our channel is more behind the scenes footage, who works here, what's going on, how do we decide on which artists to book, what's actually going on behind the scenes. So what we decided to call our channel is a thousand megabytes because that's what it takes. You come up with it. Is that a camera? I came up with the name before I know they'll never give me my credit. Let me just jump right in. I was getting there. You're you going nowhere. <laughs> a thousand megabytes. What goes into a gig? Oh. Uh huh. Thank you. Me, creative director. Uh huh. I mean, okay, I don't even know where you came I'm from. I'm not the creative director, but I came up with it. How okay. dope is it? It's dope. Say, how dope? It's dope. It's very dope. Well, but it's not a. It's, 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 it's heat. Dope. What goes into a gig? Shop. Sure. A thousand megabytes. Cool. And I'm not right time. Geek. Right time. And Kale. 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 I'm right time. Geek. <laughs> so we say how might we do X and Y do it differently or how might we sure. get better at securing government work or I wish we could have a stronger network of partners or whatever the case is. So yeah, 2020 started off with our annual strategy planning. This is where we basically go through what happened the previous year or the past few years and then we map out the next year. We had had our strategist who is Tabby who is like brilliant what i think will be beneficial because we didn't get to that level of depth and i think you've built enough knowledge of your consumer base to do this properly is to list out what are all our customer types so what are those archetypes right and then work through each one to understand what are their needs what jobs are they trying to do and how can we best serve them tabby is katlao's girlfriend and the mother of his child, um, yeah. Strategy and marketing for corporate, is that one and the same thing? No, so when we run a pilot. Kato Malachi is our um, business development head. He co-founded Homecoming Events with Nell Muela. The objectives for the strategy aren't always the same. Sometimes people are looking for strategy, they're looking for insights, uh, insight generating tool. So how do I, Give, give us a strategy to be able to collect information more successfully from the youth segment. It's not marketing related. In attendance, we also had Neo Muela. Have we been able to formalize any of our relationships with the government? In fact, we lost one relationship. Neo manages our government relations and tender procurement. And then there was um, Webelo Macheke, who does strategy and sponsorship procurement or Adile Sangwemi, Boogie, who is our events manager, Koketo, who's the head of our internal operations. Then we have two special people who have now joined our team. They came from the 2019 internship group and they have now been, you know, promoted as assistant managers and that is Eden Storom and Mpo Jason. So you might hear people calling him Jason or Mpo. It's kind of like an inside joke, but like we don't know what his real name is, basically. So we just call him like either Mpo or Jason or Mpo and Jason, whatever works. So yeah, um, basically we sat through this whole strategy session and then at some point we invited our external creative teams. We're trying to align our 2020 brand direction. So we need a uniform approach but also a more where we start the year uh in consensus on quite a number of things but more than anything in particular on brand direction everything has to happen in sync with everybody so what's what's happening on photography or videography direction needs to be in sync with what's happening on the website what 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 we're going to do today is uh you know firstly for everybody to meet each other my name is sean um freelance graphic designer 
Hi, I'm Suile, uh, head of photographer at Pixel Collective. Head of photographer, Dange. I'm Obi Stole, um, I work for Rest. Uh, KG, I also work for Rest. I'm a thing, guys. Rest at the website. I'm Kelly, and I'm a content curator and producer at Pixel Collective. Merrick and I work for Pixel Collective. Dumelo, um, I am the founder and creative director of a videography company called Bailey Sober. Now, the winners the winners of the documentary do? So, <laughs> would you like to take the floor, Tabs? Ah, Kelly, the floor is yours. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're sitting in the shot and basically we are, you know, talking about um, this documentary that we are shooting. And basically, the whole idea of the, you know, documentary was what we want to do with our channel but like on a greater scale you know telling the story of homecoming events and Gatlao Manaji and Mel Muela and how they built this thing from you know nothing basically we are talking about the documentary and everything and then I have to tell Gatlao that um, look we don't have footage anymore um, the hard drive that had all the content no, no, on it. No, 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 no. We had been shooting this footage over a period of like six months. So have we lost the content or just the treated content? We lost all the amazing stuff we shot last year at Africa. Everything in Africa? Oh, everything in Africa is gone. And everything that you have for okay, what is the on the Africa. It's not Africa. <laughs> so the GoPros and everything. Um, we were going to put everything so that we could doctor the, the we, we needed to give it to the editor so that we could see what we were working with so we could start building the narrative. There was a lot of stuff on there. We were shooting during the Homecoming Africa Festival. We had like GoPros and everything. I thought it was the coolest thing. But like you forget you're wearing that. So it was like raw. It was us. It was stress. It was conversations with people. It was, you know, um, live footage of things that were happening behind the scenes. One of the guys we work with, he was part of, you know, recording some of the footage um, earlier in the year. So I was speaking to him about it and he was like, he's got the hard drive, great, they're going to use it to edit this video or whatever the case may be. And then when I asked for the video, he was like, um, listen, we lost, the, we lost Jan's hard drive, but it was another one. We had gotten the wrong one anyway. Because initially he was like to me, no, he's got the wrong hard drive. I'm like, when are you going to meet Jan to swap it out? And he was like, no, we're working on it, we're working on it. Then eventually it was a, we lost Jan's hard drive. So in my understanding, it wasn't the one with the content because he had the wrong one. Shop, shop, okay. Can you send me his number? know how it got stolen there was a party at their house and the hard drive got stolen that's the story that I know <laughs> I was lied to I think we were all lied to. I don't know how they're gonna get out of that like it's such a mess and I don't know how we're going to fix this because where's the footage but I guess we just have to you know we move I'm so <laughs> okay well yeah sure um brand assessment the brand, where's the brand now? What, what do you make of the brand? Uh, I think um, Homecoming Events is a very strong brand. Like, I think in terms of, just look at ticket sales for Tony from Day and how fast they sell out, just indicates to you that it's a really, really strong brand. For me, what I would have suggested in terms of direction would be, let's, I mean, from the people that are in this room, why can't we, focus a little bit more on Homecoming Africa, since this is the flagship event for Homecoming events. What can we do from January up until the actual event to sort of build the hype for Homecoming Africa? When you come onto the web, onto the website, onto the page, that video or whatever short snippets we're creating for Africa 2020, because when we launch in Feb, that's what I'm going onto the website to buy a Tony Fontaine ticket. The first thing that's popping up on the top of that website 
is the homecoming africa 2020 15 second 10 second whatever boom that's going to do you understand what i'm saying we want to change our logo um <laughs> it looks outdated was it supposed to be a bottle cap like here we're gonna drink <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, also it looks like western like cowboy vibes yeah because of the arrows and it's giving me very like like cape union market What's and not like <laughs> the bottom part of it is is crucial shift the culture that should not go anywhere we've got a two-pronged approach in terms of who we're trying to communicate with regarding the logo there's corporate and then there's the streets. Let's, let's, let's do how we did with the Africa logo. Put it up. Give people an opportunity to come with designs. And you can open it up. Also, you're doing your part, I guess, what opening the industry. Mm -hmm. What that does mean, though, Skara, Sean, guys, that if somebody comes with the hit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, someone I didn't get to mention who was in attendance was some strange man. So we're all sitting there. And Kato, you know, is facilitating, I guess, the, the content meeting. And we're just talking about the merchandise that we're going to be, you know, putting out. We want to print more merchandise. People kind of feel very left out when we're wearing, like, our hoodies or t-shirts or anything. And they're always asking us, can I buy it from you? Or, like, girls will steal the hoodies from guys and, like, you know, all that kind of stuff. But anyways, we're talking about the merchandise and we're talking about everything we're trying to do and this man walks in. I think there should be fun merch. Yeah. We so wanna so do we wanna go into a collab? I think it makes sense because if we're going to collab with well then it brings the manufacturing to the top as well. And we don't do much. We don't have the designer. Wait, where are the go jerseys one year in two thousand and thirteen? Oh, <laughs> before that we had actually seen him outside we had taken a little break before the content meeting and everyone was chilling outside and he was like hanging around like he's creeping you know like someone's just creeping around I'm looking at this guy. so then he asked like what was going on and we we're like no we're just having a conference you know and he's like yeah can i join in and we're like nah bro <laughs> this guy's like no um you know usually when they have conferences here they allow us to sit in i'm like which conferences what kind of ghetto like had it been like an amway or a herbal life conference like sure dog join in but like we're trying to work they be very short and um, also a shift from yeah this guy just keeps coming back like we kick him out he keeps coming back at a point he just grabbed the chain and just like mm, we live what y'all talking about what events let's go our office is coming okay cool let's continue let's continue all right let's continue so Logo revamp goes first, right? Yeah. Post logo revamp, <laughs> we need to. The question is going to have to be: Are we? The question is going to have to be: Are we? Are we collaborating? Are we? Are we? Are we collaborating? Are we collaborating? He gets He left. No, he drops his bag to fetch a check. Then he comes in, then I stand by the door and stop it. Stop it. No, I was just saying this is a private conference. No, it's okay. I don't have said time. You said you're already talking to Dude, it's like the third time. Do you want to Does anyone want to ask them? No, but that's the only thing. He was in the He was in the inside. He was in the inside. Back down, inside. He was in the inside. I was happy to, to let him sit down. I wasn't having it. I wasn't fighting him. I was just being assertive that he can't get inside. Kokla didn't even want to move her chair at all. Oh, he came with the chair. Him, like, this a private conference, and then he's like, okay. And then he came in. Like, oh. <laughs> I don't think he understands me. So, that was our first episode. Um, a lot of weird things happened. A lot of silly things happened. Something silly is happening literally right now behind the scenes. You made the team. I don't know if you made me. I'm at Tubbs, by the way. I am the Beyonce of this whole 
establishment of homecoming events. So um, if I hadn't said earlier, that's my bad. I just was so excited to get to, you know, the juice of what goes on behind the scenes when we are, you know, making a gig. On the next episode, we'll be getting into our beloved Fon Fon. We didn't have water, as in the whole 012 precinct had no water. Uh, there's no there's no water here. Right now, Let things are lit. We might actually line. have to cancel for day. No Muela is getting married. Atabila, my friend. Guys, <laughs> we're planning a wedding. I want the picture. I don't, <laughs> even, I, don't, I don't even have to go too far. Wallpaper. Uh, Boogie got into a fight. So what happened was, yeah. Do I have to talk about this? So we just want to give you a lot more content. We just want to keep producing a lot more. We've heard that you guys want to see a lot more from us. So if you like this video, please like. If you want to keep seeing more, and if you want to be reminded about more, subscribe. And if you have any feelings, anything you want to say, anything you want to say to me, Am I doing a good job? Are you happy? Would you rather see Beyonce? Me too. Um, you can comment down below.